1415, northern France. The Hundred Years' War continues. After spending the autumn months campaigning in northern France, Henry V, King of England, is making his way home. But first he must contend with a large army awaiting him near the town of Agincourt. The French army, led by Jean Le Mangre and Charles d'Albert, is more a collection of arrogant nobles than an army, distracted by their own bitter rivalries. While the English army is a disciplined force, led by King Henry, a shrewd commander and an inspiring presence. As the sun rises on the 25th of October, Henry moves his weary and hungry men into position, knowing they are largely outnumbered. Heavy rainfall overnight has left the newly plowed field separating the two forces a sodden, muddy mess. The French forces awake and take a leisurely breakfast, happy to wait and let disease and hunger grind down Henry's army. Knowing this only too well, Henry moves his army forward, hoping to provoke the French into rash action. Henry's gamble is successful. Lines of unprepared French knights and nobles push and shove amongst themselves, eager to engage their English counterparts. Henry's longbowmen will be the key to defeating the French, striking them down as they traverse the muddy field. To protect his longbowmen from cavalry, Henry has ordered them to plant sharpened stakes in front of their positions. To emerge victorious, Henry must survive the upcoming battle and destroy or rout the French army before him. Only then can he make his way home. Another wave of hapless fools at us! Hold the line!
There's more of these French dogs on their way. Those cowardly dogs are behind us. Slain one of their generals. Our men have slain one of their generals. Once more unto the breach, my lord. For Saint George. More unto the breach, my lord. For Saint George, charge! of God, our foe is utterly vanquished. Let all who remember this day remember it as the day of our most glory.